You sure you got this off my head? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to today's video where we answer actually some requests of what I take with me on my bicycle for a long ride. Before we start, I need to apologize for the state of my bike. I've been so busy riding it that I haven't cleaned it. It is a sorry state of affairs right now. She needs some love. And at some point I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so before we crack into it, I'm gonna nip into an ad break here and say thank you once again to Surfshark for sponsoring another vlog. Once again, I'm just like, real happy to be working with them and for them to be supporting this channel. Now, if you don't want to know what Surfshark is, it's a virtual private network, otherwise known as a VPN. And what a VPN does, it uses encryption to protect you against snoopers, third-party advertisers, and, well, you know, all those pesky pop-ups for singles in your area. What? Also, also credit card details, cyber crims, and just generally people trying to steal your data. It's a big one for me because I travel so much and there's much needed guarding around dodgy hotel Wi-Fi. And I watch a fair amount of Netflix in my downtime, so what I can do is I can change locations, access even more libraries around the world, and watch all the cycling races on Race Pass, but don't tell GCN that. You could use my code DALSET, that's all in capital, two T's on the end, and get 83% off and an extra three months free, which is a great deal. Surfshark also offer, offer a 30-day money-back guarantee as well, so there really is nothing to lose here, folks. Click the link in the description below, and that'll take you straight to the link. So three categories of stuff I take with me on a bike ride. Nutrition, clothing, and tools, and spares, and stuff just to generally get me out of trouble. Start with nutrition, and I take with me enough to get me through however many hours I'm doing, 80 grams of carbs per hour. Uh, nine times out of 10, that will look like three Morton 320s. They're 80 grams each. So start with two in the bottles and one in my back pocket. And then I'll top up the rest of what I need with, uh, if it's a real hard day, gels, because I just find gels easier to consume. And if it's, a different, if it's an easier day, then something nice like foods, bars, um, whether it be Chanel's homemade bars or like something from a brand. Oh, and I guess fluids as well, just trying to drink, just trying to stay hydrated. I've got no like protocol for that because it just really depends on how hot it is. Next one was clothing. Now up here in the mountains is... Sorry, are you at altitude? Uh, yeah, yeah, don't know if I mentioned it really tough to dress for. It's kind of a running joke here in Andorra that whatever you decide to wear for a day's training, it's wrong. Albert, you're really disrupting this. Can you please behave? I don't know if I mentioned, but we're at altitude, up at 2,000 meters, and how cold it is up here is different to how cold it is down on the kind of lowest, we'll go on a training ride, which is 850. Like if it's five degrees here, it's 12 to 14 degrees down there. So generally I will dress for down there, but make sure I'm not cold. So often I'll start from here with a Gabba jacket or, or like Jinga's version of a Gabba jacket or a rain jacket, like a windproof layer, um, which I'll then take off at the bottom of the downhill. Same, I'll probably have a pair of gloves on, might have a set of knee warmers on, which I can take off and a set of overshoes on if it's particularly cold up here, which I can take off. And the weather here can change real quick. So you have to be quite prepared. So often the, the back pockets are really quite full um, with clothes. The last aspect is get me out of trouble mechanic tools and spares. And the first tool there is my phone because if things really go south, it's a phone call to Chanel to come pick me up. And that has happened on more than one occasion. That's if my bike has broken or my legs have broken. It's always text message. I have got no legs today. Yes, please come get me. But if I can fix it, I will try to I'll pop this off. Uh, this is my saddlebag. I don't even know what the brand is, and it's been with me longer than I think I've been cycling. We've got a second Allen key set, which I'll talk about in a second. Two gas canisters, two tire levers, two inner tubes. 
and again I've learnt this the hard way once, going out with an inner tube that won't reach 60 mil of depth, so both of these inner tubes in there have very, very long valves. Now the most exciting thing that I found in New Zealand was this. This is not sponsored or anything, this is just... Like, my dad and I found this in a bike shop and we're like, that's an incredible piece of kit. This is uh, from a brand called EDC, or One. I'm not really sure. Obviously it's a pump. It's also, if you take this little gadget out, it's gas canister pump. Like, it's quite heavy, there's, there's a lot to it. Gas canister storage. And then if you pop this little thing out, you've got tire lever, chain breaker, little Allen key set with like a Torx, um, multiple sizes and a Torx one as well. And little slot there for your spare chain links as well for a quick release. So this really like, gets you out of trouble. And because it's a pump, quite often I'll forget an Allen key set, but it's all in one. And if you're a mountain biker, what's cool is you can get this adapted to drop down your fork stirrer tube. And yeah, it's a pump as well. The reason for the other Allen key set is it's just a bit beefier. There's some slightly bigger Allen keys, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and a saw, which I've never used, or a knife. So it can kind of just get you out of a few more problems than, than, the, uh, than the pump can. That's pretty much everything, I think. Just trying to envisage my back pockets. Oh, money. Take some money with me as well, because you know, in the event that Chanel can't pick me up and I need to get like, a taxi or public transport, like money, credit card, something like that, just really like a means to get you out of trouble. And I guess on a more personal note, I, I have this necklace which is on me all the time, which has my medical details and like, the fact that I have haemophilia, what sort of haemophilia it is, my NHS number, my birth date, my name, my hospital, and my, my dad's mobile number. So, which actually should probably be yours now that we're not living in the UK, because there's not a great deal dad can do from my six. <laughs> I also got a back light on my bike for being seen, and a bike computer for seeing all my data, the Hammerhead Kuro 2, which is a Delightful head unit. Oh, there's something else I missed. Headphones. Headphones, yeah. I, uh, if I'm on my own, um, I either use like Aftershocks headphones, so they're like the bone conduction ones, or I just put one ear in um, on the curbside and have them sort of music on pretty quiet because it's five or six hours on the road. It's a lot of, it's a lot of time in my own thoughts. So. It's a lot of Alex time. Yeah, it's, most of the time it's a good place to be, but. Sometimes I just need like a bit of, a bit of Ed Sheeran or Lewis Capaldi to take me away from myself. If the weather's good, actually even if the weather's not good, but generally if the weather's good, because when it's a clear day here, it's, it's real scenic. And obviously with the mountain roads and the sweeping down hills and the hairpin bends, I, um, you know, I like to take a video or two. And these are some very full back pockets. I should probably invest in like a frame bag or, a handlebar bag. But yeah, GoPro Hero 9 Black. Yeah, it's taken some cracking stuff so far. Um, Show us how. Huh? Show us how. Oh, you press the button. No, no, with the mount, come on. Oh yeah, the, the, the best view and the most unhygienic view is like the mouth mount. Just... Honestly, it is the best view though. Chest mount, you, you too much arms. Helmet mount, it's like too high. Handlebar mount's pretty good. If you find if you can stick it as far back on the stem as possible, that's that's a pretty good view because the GoPro is such a wide angle lens. Because you, you want to see, I like a shot where I can see what's going on. If it's a race car driver, I like to see the steering wheel. If it's and on a bike, I think it's cool if you can see the handlebars and what the hands are doing, the brakes and the, the yeah. Also underneath the, uh, underneath the stem's a good place as well because and you see the drops. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go clean my bike.